This is Roger Strokov with Syscon TV. It's day three, one, two, three, day three at Cloud Expo in June 2017 at the Javits Center in New York. Thanks for watching. We're joined right now by Jeremy Snyder with Divi Cloud. And on Divi Cloud, I see they have this, uh, I don't know, they're talking about automation or something. Jeremy, welcome. Why are you here and what are you doing? Yeah, uh, thanks so much for having us, Roger, and we're really happy to be here at Cloud Expo. Um, to answer your questions, what are we doing on the automation side? Absolutely, that is what we're all about. Divi Cloud as a company set out to help our customers automate solutions to the most common cloud problems. One of the things that we see from large scale enterprises who are adopting public cloud platforms is that they end up having three areas of problems. One is on the security side, of course, there's a lot of concerns there. Second is on kind of what you might call the policy and the compliance side. And the third is really with cost overruns. You know, there's a lot of Gartner data out there from research and, and polls that they run with CIOs that show that a lot of the times companies end up with cloud bills two to three times higher than what they expect. So our platform is all about running these little mini automations that go find and fix those problems for the customer. Yeah, that's a cool logo, by the way. Uh, you know, it, yeah, it's interesting. You know, just because you're automating stuff for finding a vendor to work with cloud, and the old rules still apply. So the compliance stuff, but actually that in a way it must give your customers confidence that you know you're doing a lot of stuff for them solving some problems for them but it's not some brave new wild world where you know wild west sort of thing right uh, absolutely i mean for the cio and for the ciso these are not new things that they've never encountered before it really is taking the same set of goals and the same set of controls that they need to have in place and just applying them to public cloud. Where what's changed, again, it's not the rules, it's just the way that they're implemented. And so that, that's really what we're all about, is translating you know, old school requirements into the new school world of cloud. So what's happening with your customers? Are they, are they saving money? Are they doing things faster? Are they more flexible? What's going on? All of the above. On the cost saving side, we do tend to see customers saving 30 to 40% of their public cloud bill. I mean, there are some simple examples on that side, things like automatically turning off servers at night when they're not being used, non-production servers, of course. Um, and then on the kind of saving time aspect, one of the things that we see, when customers get large scale infrastructure on public cloud platforms like AWS or Microsoft Azure, what have you, what ends up happening is some system will flag a problem for them, but it's very time consuming for a human to go in and troubleshoot that problem. They need to find it, they need to figure out what the remediation path is and so on. And so by putting in place automation routines, first of all, you've got a very consistent programmatic response that will always be executed in the same way. And second, you know, the computer finds it way faster than a human ever could. So yeah, it, and that, that's the thing. I mean, I, I, I've been in the last few days talking about calculators, right. saying, uh, you know, not to um, underestimate, underrate everything that's going on. But, you know, I don't like to try to multiply big numbers, you know, or yeah. divide big numbers. A calculator, bang, it does the donkey work. Yeah. Saying, you're automating a lot of that sort of stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and these are, uh, you know, Sometimes they're very complex, so to your point, sometimes they're very large scale problems that are hard for a, a human to crunch. Sometimes they're actually very simple, low level problems that it's just hard for a computer to find. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you're going into customers, are they giving you sort of a, uh, a list, a laundry list of what they want done, and then you know, what degree do you kind of show them stuff maybe they haven't thought of? Yeah, it's actually a combination of the two. So what we found is there's a general set of what you might call best practices. And we ship with a library of around 130 of those things. And customers can kind of selectively turn them on and off depending what their needs are. But one thing that is really important is from an organizational perspective, a lot of customers of course, they have their own routines, they have their own business processes and so on. So they need to be able to take that library and extend it to what's specific to them. So you've got to deliver you know, some value out of the box, but make it so that it can integrate into their business processes the way their organizations operate. Now, how long has the company been around and you know, what sort of body of work have you already created? Yeah, so we've been around for about four years. We are a venture-backed startup. Uh, one thing that's kind of interesting about us is that um, as opposed to a lot of startups who get started by selling to other small companies and so on, we really started at the top end of the enterprise. Uh, some of our publicly referenceable account customers would be the likes of General Electric, Discovery Communications, owners of the Discovery Channel and related properties, uh, and Fannie Mae. Um, so you know, we've really kind of been put through our paces at the top end of the enterprise adoption cycle.
Yeah, I'm solving big problems for, for those companies, so it gives you some confidence, should give you uh, customers confidence yeah. that, that you can solve for them. How do we find you online and social media and all that? Yeah, I, pretty much across all platforms, we are just Divi Cloud. That's D-I-V-V-Y cloud.com. Mm -hmm. um, so just www.divicloud.com, Divi Cloud on Twitter and so on. Yeah, great. Divvy up the work, and divvy up the work for. I get it. I get Absolutely. it. Again, I, the logo is cool. I really, Thank I, you. I, I really Appreciate like it. That. Cloud uh, sometimes is a little nebulous. This is not, and what you're doing is not nebulous. It's important stuff. Go ahead and find them. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. For Syscon TV, this is Roger Struckoff.